Yeah. Hey, brother, how you doing? My name is Officer Yawasab. What's your name again? Antoine. Give me 1 Kings 8 and 46. Yeah. Your name is Antoine, right? Okay, do you know that you are Israelite? Do you know that? You know you're Israelite? Yeah. All right, I'm about to show you that you are Israelite, and we must come back together. Right. We have to come back together. Once you hear this, then you have a job to do. Yeah. You understand? You have a job to do. You ain't on this earth for nothing. What's right. your name again? I'm sorry. Antoine. Antoine, you ain't on this earth for nothing, Antoine. All right, read. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Do you believe in the Bible? Antoine, all right. Listen to what God said. Read. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sin if not. This is King Solomon praying for the nation of Israel in the spirit. All right, read. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. Because the Most High was angry with us. So we got delivered to the enemy. I'm going to show you that. Read. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy. Far or near. Who that happened to? Didn't that happen to us? Was we carrying away on um, slave ships? Far and near? I'm going to show you that in the scriptures. Read. Yeah, if they shall bethink themselves. Hey, Antoine, what that mean to bethink themselves? He said, if they bethink themselves. What that mean? To bethink yourself. All right. Read from the top again. Verse 47, yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives and repent. Re re bethink yourself is to remember who you are. Right. For example, they call us black, African-American, Negro, colored, right? right? These was actually things they was calling us, right? So when you think about it, how can one nation be called all them names? Black, African American, and color. Teach. When you fill out an application, that's what that was actually on the application. How can one nation be all the nations? One nation be all the nations. Right. right? If you rethink yourself, right? We and remember who you are. Watch this. I'm gonna show you who you are. Read. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely. You know why we over here in this land? Why what happened to us? We got punished. Just like your mama told you, go to your room until you start acting right. That's us. That's what happened with us. God got mad with us. He punished us. And he sent us off. Far from him. And I'm going to show you that today. Read. That's why we're going through what we're going through, brother. All right. Do you got kids? Are you married? Are you together with your kids? Do you get to see your kids? Do you have freedom with your kids? And Oh, that's good. All praise for that, bro. That's good. Everybody don't have that. Right. Right. And I'm telling you why. You know why? Because these curses. Right. You know what I'm saying? Read. We have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. We got to do it in this land. We got to remember who we are. We ain't African Americans. We ain't colored. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't Negro. Right. We the Israelites. Right. Right. We got to remember who we are in this land and repent. Like Read. Which led them away captives and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen. We have a land, brother. We just don't know it. They don't want us to know it. Read. Right. And the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer. Then he gonna hear our prayers. Right. Once we realize who we are and repent, then he gonna hear our prayers. Like God ain't listening to us, bro. You think God listening to us? Look at this. Right. Look at this. You think God listening to us? We living in a ghetto. Bring it out. God ain't listening to us. All the praying we doing, ain't nothing changing. That means he's not listening. Right. We have to repent first. This is, read it again. And I want you then to say, hear thou their prayer. He say, then I'm going to hear their prayer. Read. And their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause. Then he's going to fight for us. He's going to maintain our cause. Right. Get that in John. You know what I want, right? John, yeah, get that. 931. God. It is. I really need to go. I'm all right. I've been on my way all night. Okay. Read. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now we know that God hears not sinners. See that? God hears not sinners. We in the midst of sin right now. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and do of his will, him he hear. You hear that? Him he hear. Get the will real quick. Because the will is God's law. And we're going to prove that. I'm going to let you go, all right? I'm going to get two more scriptures and you can go, all right? Read. 
The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will, O oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. You see that? The will is God's laws. Get to around the 28 and 68. Go around 28 and 68. Uh, this one. Read that real quick. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. You see that? He said he's going to bring us to Egypt again, meaning Egypt meaning bondage again with ships. What does ship say? What does ship say? Get that. Right here. You see that? This was us. This actually happened to us. You see that? This is an actual event. Read that again. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold. When we got here, we were sold. We got to these shows, we were sold, just like God said what's going to happen in the prophecy. Right? Unto uh, your enemies. Unto uh, who? Unto uh, your enemies. These people are our enemies. They're not going to tell us the truth. Lord. They're not going to tell us these people in these stores now. They're not going to tell us the truth. Lord. Read on. For bond men. For slave men. Read. And bond women. And slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall save us. No man shall save us. Martin Luther, uh, MLK tribe. Uh, Malcolm X tribe, join the truth, uh, uh, Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey. the list goes on and on and on for all the men trying to step up and save us from these conditions that we're in. But we're still in the conditions. Why? Because we won't come back to God's commandments. Get 48. Now, one more and I'm going to let you go. Uh, verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. He said, therefore you should serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Because God was angry. Read. In hunger. In hunger. He still is angry with us. In hunger. We gotta serve him in hunger. When we want food, we gotta we don't own anything. We don't own no chicken, no, no cows, we don't own no uh uh, uh reservoirs of water. Read. And in thirst and in nakedness. Do we own any water to, to sell? We if they want to cut your water off, they can cut your water off. Right? right? Read. And in walk of all things. If you want to be married. You want to, if you want, even if to die, you got to go to them to be put in the ground. Bring it out. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. You see that? That happened to us. Zephaniah 201. Wait, no. Finish that off real quick. Finish that off. He should finish that, that verse off real quick. And then we're going to let the brother go. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed thee. You know why we destroyed? Because I don't, we look at each other, we ain't brothers. You just another nigga across the street. You just another nigga just past me. We're actually brothers. That's so, right. And I'm going to show you that we actually, we are destroyed. We don't know we're the nation of Israel. We don't know we're the great people of the earth. Until we find out who we are, then the Most High going to uh, maintain our cause. Read that. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. This is us gathering together, brother. He said, right. gather yourselves together. We have to gather together. Read. Yay. Gather together, O nation, not desire. Can you, you say you have children, right? Right? Yep. How can you gather with somebody who's a molester? Who's, who, who's a thief? Bring that right? up. Right? You can't gather with He has to change. And this Bible brings for change. Right. Israel right. don't have no... Um, uh, uh, laws in their in organization. All right, the uh, five uh, five percent they don't have no laws in their uh, organization. This book have the book of law for us to come together. Oh, Read sir. it again. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the shall. before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. God is coming back, brother. Get yourself together. We got a school down the street. We know where we at. We got the flyer. Come. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain.
IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.